بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد عليكم بقيام الليل نبي عليه السلام has encouraged us to be punctual and perpetual with قيام الليل standing up in front of Allah in the darkness of the night Deen has come for a solution for all problems, issues in dunya and akhirat فَإِنَّهُ تَأْبُ الصَّالِحِينَ قَبْلَكُمْ This was the routine and the habit of the people of the past. وَقُرْبَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ And it's a means of closeness to get in to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَكْفَرَةٌ لِلسَّيِّئَاتِ And it eliminates and it wipes out sins. وَمَنْهَاتٌ عَنِ الْعِثْمِ and it also prevents a person from committing guna. It blocks a person. It becomes a barrier for sin and disobedience. وَمَتْرَدَةٌ لِلْدَّعَانِ الْجَسَدِ And it expels sicknesses, disease from the body. It drives out sicknesses. So one was a person will get close to Allah one was his sons will be wiped out and eliminated but physically also it has benefits where it is a cure for sickness what is the hikmat what is the wisdom scientists may do research and prove it later on or not my nabi has said it and we believe it it should not be that we wait for scientific research to prove the benefits and then a person follows it because science has mentioned it and not Allah and His Rasul. Allah praises مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ أُمَّهِ قَائِمَةِ يَتْلُونَ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ آنَا اللَّيْلِ Those people that read the book of Allah in the darkness of the light night. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَهَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِلَةً لَكَ وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ الذين يمشون على الأرض هنا وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا السلام والذين يبيتون لربهم سجدا وقياما the servants of Allah the close servants of Allah among the sifat and qualities are they spend their nights in sajda standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah praise in him says تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ They keep their bodies away from their beds. They are under musalla. أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا Those people who stand obedient in front of Allah in the darkness of the night, in تَهَجُدْ صَلَاةِ in سُجُودٍ إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي جَنَّاتِ وَعُيُونَ The muttaqeen will enjoy the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah. What was their quality? What was their sifat? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains. كَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِّنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَهْجَعُونَ وَبِالْأَسْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ So again, they were restless standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sleep and the and the 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 tashkil the demand for being on the musalla was more than the demand for being in their beds and in the darkness of the night they were making istighfar so in the quran ayat upon ayat allah has emphasized the importance of tahajjud salah أفضل الصلاة بعد الفريضة صلاة الليل. and from amongst the virtues of صلاة after فرائض the best نفل عبادة is تهجد صلاة. so it is highly emphasized. likewise as it Abdullah bin Salam رضي الله عنه said the first thing when I came to مدينة منورة and I met Nabi عليه الصلاة والسلام I heard his Mubarak words, أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ أَوْ بِيبَلْ أَفْشُ السَّلَامِ Spread salam, وَأَطْعِمُ الطَّعَامِ And feed, وَصِلُّ الْحَرْعَامِ And 
join family ties wasilul arham wasallu bil layli wan nasu niyam and read salah in the darkness of the night while people are in slumber tadkhulul jannata bi salam you will enter jannah with peace without any difficulty or hardship it is said that on the day of qiyama when people will be resurrected a proclaimer will proclaim ain alladhina kanat tatajaffa junubuhum an al-madaji we are those people who used to spend their nights on the musalla in front of allah they will stand wa hum qalilun but the numbers will be limited they will be few in number fayadkhuluna al-janna bi ghayri hisab they will enter jannah without any accountability reckoning thumma yu'mar bi sa'ir an-nas ila hisab then the hisab kitab will start for humanity so a time where the ummah was under musalla as a time come where the ummah is on the dance floor when the ummah are in places of vice when in the darkness of the night the ummah are doing swapping in the darkness of the night where the ummah are clicking and wiping their fingers and wiping a door to zina and adultery in the darkness of the night where the ummah is surfing internet and pornographic sites there was a time in the ummah where they spend the time under musalla for the salat al layl ala salat al nahar ka fadl sadaqa al sir ala sadaqa al alaniya how a person gives sadaqa secretly and openly like that is the reward of tajud salat compared to the salah in the day ashraf ummati hamalat al quran wa ashab al layl the honorable and the most virtuous of my ummah are those who possess the quran the ulama and the people of the night the people of the night wa alam anna sharaf al mu'min qiyam al layl if you want honor in this world you want honor and respect in the year after then nabi alayhi salam is telling us remember it is in qiyam al layl make sure you spend your night in ibadat and the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't spend your nights in the disobedience of allah a sahabi says once i read what hazrat ali radiyallahu an salatul fajr as he finished his salah he turned to the right and then he waited ka'anna alayhi ka'aba it could be seen that he was deeply troubled hatta idha kanat ash-shams it was such that the sun had risen it was time for ishraq salla he read his sala then he turned his hands over and in grief he said wallahi laqad ra'aytu ashab muhammad i seen sahaba i seen the companions of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fama ara al yawm shay'an yushbihum today i don't see the lights of those companions and what is the proof laqad kanu yusbihuna sufra they passed the morning and their faces were pale shu'than ghubran the hay was just heveled their bodies were covered in dust bain ayunihim ka amsali rukbil mi'za and and on their foreheads there were marks of prostration like the marks on the knees of goats qad batu lillahi sujjada wa qiyama and how should they spend their night the night before that they spend their night in sajda in qoma in ruku in front of allah yatluna kitab allah making tilawat of quran this is the speciality this is the trait which was dominant in sahaba azad ali radiyallahu anhu is explaining 
يتراوحون بين جبائهم they would attain comfort by standing in salah and making sajda sahaba would be consoled they would get pleasure they will be would be entertained in salah allah forgive us today the ummah is entertained by music by television by surfing by haram every form of entertainment of batil has entertained the ummah what has happened then he continued faida asbahu when the morning passed when the morning arrived and the night passed fadhakar allah they would remember allah their bodies would sway like the movement of trees with a gentle breeze sahaba would then engage in dhikr wa hamalat ayunuhum hatta tabulla thiyabahum and the eyes would flow with tears until their clothing would become soaked their eyes would tear so much that their clothing would become soaked with grief hazrat ali radiyallahu anhu said wallahi lakanna alqawm batu ghafilin and the situation is such they spend the night in ibadat but they cried like babies like they were negligent like they never did any good in their life what is the condition of the ummah that we spend the night in negligence and we wake up in elation and happy like we are jannatis thumma nahda fama ru'ya ba'da dhalika muftaran yadhak hatta qatalahu ibn muljam ali radiyallahu anhu then got up in grief and it is said he was never seen again in his life smiling until he was made shaheed in ali radiyallahu an these were not just words and statements allah give us to make of making amal it is said that dirar bin damra al kinani radiyallahu an entered the majlis of azad muawiya radiyallahu an and muawiya and seen him radiyallahu an said sif li ali you are the companion of ali give me his qualities describe him to me so he replied aw tu'fini ya amir al mu'minin please excuse me please excuse me on this situation he said la ufik no chance no chance tell me what you know about azad ali so he replied amma idha la bud if you say so and if you insist in كان والله بعيد المدى by the qasam of allah he was a person of high objective with immense hope his objectives and his ambition was high shadid al quwa he was strong he had tremendous strength يقول فصلا ويحكم عدلا he would speak decisively he would speak decisively and he would pass a just a judgment justly he would pass a judgment justly yatafajjar al ilm min jawanibihi and from every lam knowledge would burst forth as if it was an effulgence of knowledge wa tantik al hikma min nawahihi and from every angle from every pore of his body would wisdom emanate he was permeated with wisdom and knowledge yastawhishu min ad-dunya wa zahratiha he was aloof he abandoned the attraction and the beauty of dunya and what was his salient feature wa yasta'nisu bil-layl wa dhulmatihi he would take comfort from the night and the darkness you would take comfort from the night and the darkness kana wallahi ghazir al-abra i take an oath he would shed tears excessively 
طويل الفكرة. He would have deep thoughts. He would be deep in thought for long periods. And يخاطب نفسه. He would address himself. يعجبه من اللباس ما قصرا. He loved clothing that was simple. He wouldn't spend his time on his clothing and external appearance. وَمِنَ الطَّعَامِ مَا جَاشَبَ And he would suffice with coarse, unrefined food. Food was not his objective. كَانَ وَاللَّهِ كَهَدِنَا يُدْنِينَا إِذَا أَتَيْنَاهُ He was like one of us. He was like one of us. And when any of us would come, he would make us sit close to him. وَيُجِيبُنَا إِذَا سَأَلْنَاهُ When we ask him, he answered every question. وَكَانَ مَا تَقَرُّبُ إِلَيْنَا And despite being him close, he would be close to us. وَلَا نُكَلِّمُ عَيْبَةً لَهُ Although he was like one of us, and he was close to us, and we loved him, we were overawed to speak to him. فَإِن تَبَسَّمَ فَإِن مِثْلِ لُؤْلُوِ الْمَنْذُمْ When he would smile, his smile would be like the string of pearls. يُعَذِّمُ أَهْلَ الدِّينَ He would honor and respect the learned. وَيُحِبُّ الْمَسَاكِينَ And he would love the poor people. لَا يَتْمَعُ الْقَوِيُّ فِي بَاطِلِهِ A powerful person, a person who had status and was notorious never expected to succeed in any false claims. He would not have any hope he would succeed in his false claims, no matter what his status, because Ali was so just, رضي الله عنه, وَلَا يَيْأَسُ الضَّعِيفِ مِنْ عَدْلِهِ And a weak person would never lose hope of his justice. فَأَشْهَدُ بِاللَّهِ لَقَدْ رَأَيْتُهُ فِي بَعْضِ مَوَاقِفِهِ I can take an oath on Allah I can remember clearly, vividly, seeing him in his place of worship. وَقَدْ أَرْخَ اللَّيْلِ سُدُوا لَهُ Where the night had drawn his curtains, it was the darkness, pitch dark night. وَغَارَدْ نُجُومُهُ And the stars had vanished. يَغِيلُ فِي مِحْرَابِهِ He was in front of his mihrab, in a position of submission, bent in front of Allah, قابضاً على إحلاته, holding on to his beard Mubarak, يتململ تململ السليم, and he displayed a sign of distress, like a person that was bitten by a scorpion, he would shake and tremble, ويبتي بكاء الحزين, and he would cry, a crying of a grieved person, like he was in bitter remorse and distress, فَكَأَنِّي أَسْمَعُ الْآنَ وَهُوْ يَقُولُ As if I can see him clearly in front of me. And he was saying, يَا رَبَّنَا Oh my Allah, يَا رَبَّنَا يَتَذَرُّ إِلَيْهِ Humbling himself in front of Allah. يَا رَبَّنَا يَا رَبَّنَا ثُمَّ يَقُولُ لِلْدُّنْيَا After he spoke to Allah, he spoke to dunya, إِلَيَّ تَغَرَّرْتِ are you trying to deceive me? Are you expecting to beautify yourself so much? Are you trying to deceive me that you are staring at me, expecting me to fall for you? Hey, Hata, hey, Hata, go away. Distance yourself away from me. Ghurri ghairi. Seduce someone else, charm someone else, deceive someone else. You got the wrong person. I have given you three talaqs. Your life is short. Your companionship in company is despicable. And your demeanor is disgraceful. You are insignificant dunya. Ah, ah, oh dear, Oh Allah, what has happened? The provision is meager. 
in small wa bu'd as-safar the distance in the journey is far wa wahshat at-tariq the dust the journey is frightening muawiya radiyallahu anhu tears flowed uncontrollably and he wiped it with his sleeves wa qad ikhtanaka al-qawm bil-buka the audience and the people around him cried so profusely that they were choked with tears and weeping and he said kada kana abu al-hasan indeed this was a accurate description of ali radiyallahu an how did you find him what was your reaction after your death and this he replied it was like the anguish of a woman whose only child was slaughtered in her lap and whose tears will neither stop nor grief will ever diminish no grief will ever diminish this was the quality of sahaba this was the days in the nights this ummah has been left with a responsibility may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of following in the path wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin